Thank you, Mr. Speaker. At this time, I will uh, yield three minutes to the gentleman from uh, Minnesota, Mr. Stauber. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thank you. recognized for three minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My name is Pete Stauber, and I was a law enforcement officer for 23 years in the great state of Minnesota, the city of Duluth. In December of 1995, at 10.32 p.m., at the intersection of 6th Avenue East and 4th Street in Duluth, Minnesota, a criminal who should not have had a firearm tried to take my life. I was shot in the head, and by the grace of God, I survived. A few years after that, while on duty in a hostage situation, another criminal pulled a gun on me. Face to face, I was staring down a barrel of a handgun. The suspect pulled the trigger, the gun malfunctioned, and I was in a fight for my life. When it was all over, by the grace of God, I was alive. The individual was handcuffed. Both those individuals were career criminals. Back to when I was shot in the head, Mr. Speaker, I begged the U.S. Attorney, along with our police department, to charge the individual with the felony, uh, with the possession uh, of a handgun by a felon. They didn't do it. That individual was allowed to circumvent our community for another eight years before he was finally put in prison where he belonged. No more harming other people. Representative Collins' Mass Violence Prevention Act gets the county attorneys and our federal attorneys present to prosecute these individuals that have no respect for life. I carried a handgun for 23 years, Mr. Speaker, as a tool to defend my life or somebody else's life from great bodily harm. I support the individual right of law-abiding citizens, the right to keep and bear arms. Both my wife and I live in rural Minnesota. When we need to protect ourselves, when it takes a while for law enforcement to get there, we have the ability. There is nobody I know that wants somebody that ha is going through a mental health issue or a career criminal or a drug dealer to have these. We need to start respecting life. Life is precious. From conception to natural death, I am a very proud husband of an Iraq war veteran who understands the value of life. Mr. Speaker, I rise against this. There are better ways to get mothers and fathers, county attorneys, federal prosecutors, local police departments, sheriff's departments to work together to have a fusion center. So when a, a young individual types into the computer, I want to be a mass school shooter, there's an instant response to identify the individual and work through it. I yield the rest of my time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Gentleman's time has expired. Gentleman reserves.